As the year comes to a close, many migrants currently residing in upstate New York hotels under a contract with DocGo, a company tasked with managing their temporary housing, are facing the reality that they must leave by December 31st. This change comes as the contract between New York City and DocGo is set to expire. However, New York City's reliance on hotels as migrant shelters is far from over. The city is preparing to bid for new contracts to secure approximately 14,000 hotel rooms to address ongoing migrant needs, reinforcing a crucial part of the city's sanctuary facility program. Even with a recent decline in migrant encounters at the southern border, New York City is pushing ahead to maintain adequate shelter capacity. The Department of Homeless Services DHS, is now soliciting bids from hotels to secure long-term accommodations for incoming migrants. The Hotel Association of NYC has announced its intention to apply for the new shelter contract, led by its president and CEO Vijay Dondapani. In a statement, Dondapani confirmed, we will be filling in the RFP, request for proposal. Presently, the association's foundation receives about $100,000 per month for overseeing three existing contracts with the city. DHS clarified that this upcoming contract is a competitive bid rather than an extension of the current emergency contract. The purpose is to guarantee sufficient shelter space for both current migrants and those expected to arrive in the coming months. As December approaches, the city has informed migrants through letters that they need to secure an exit plan before the end of the year. For those who lack alternative arrangements, New York City's shelter option will shift to temporary placements, each limited to 30 to 60 days. To aid migrants in planning their next steps, Mayor Eric Adams' office has launched an exit planning team that will remain on-site to assist over the next three months. Albany County, one of the primary locations where migrants have been temporarily housed, is taking steps to ensure a smooth transition for affected families. These initiatives aim to place migrant families in more stable housing environments across New York State, including Albany County, which has already successfully placed over 400 families. With demand showing no sign of abating, New York City is planning to secure around 14,000 hotel rooms through 2025 to continue sheltering migrants. In sum, while the current hotel contracts may be expiring, New York City's commitment to providing sanctuary remains robust.